Campus placements, Himaja was among the top 10 students of her business management batch. She got placed in a reputed strategy consulting firm during campus placements. She was delighted to work under Nirmal, her superior, who was known for grooming many stars in the organization. Nevertheless, she was also regarded as a hard taskmaster, as he should be. So she was a fresh recruit. She longed to be in a client facing group. She, she wants to make a name for herself. She's done well. She's got a great job. She's been placed under a, a hard taskmaster, but who, with whom the rewards are good. Uh, and even though she was a fresh recruit, she longed to be in a client facing role. It, 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 this sentence tells me that client facing role is not something that's automatically given to fresh recruit. They have to earn their stripe, be a part of what they need to do. But she wants to. She wants to be in a client facing role. She was regarded as a hard taskmaster. Right. Lovely. Let's go. During an informal office gathering, Himaja mustered up courage to ask Nirmal for a client facing role. Which of the following reasons, if true, will best justify Nirmal saying no to Himaja? Himaja's teammates are not happy with her communication skills. Okay, but it's not for Himaja's teammates to only to make that judgment. She's just about joining. Uh, she, she, she wants it. I think Nirmal would have to have his own set of interactions, interactions with her. He's a boss. His opinion of how she's doing matters a little bit perhaps more than somebody else's. So, all right. Not, not, not great. Himaja needs to improve her presentation skills. This is uh, probably important, but probably for a client-facing roles, uh, yeah, for a client-facing role, presentation skills could be important. She needs to improve again. Important. Middling. Himaja leaves early and client meetings go late in the night. Not this. Why? Because if she has client-facing roles, probably she'll stay late. So far, she, it all indicate, there's no indication that she has not done her job. So she's working from 9 to 6, maybe she's good, she finishes her job, she goes back home. There's a meeting at 7, take it. Assuming that she will not go to the meeting, because she's thus far not needed to attend the meeting, it's not good. Efficient worker, completes her job, he goes back home, as she should. If the meeting comes and she's not able to attend meeting after meeting, then there's an issue. You're not even given her a chance. If she has declined meeting, if you've not been able to take meeting, that's a different ballgame. Making the assumption that she will not be available for meeting, no basis for that. No, that's all. Clients do not appreciate strategic discussions with fresh recruits. Strategic discussions are crucial. Client facing roles involve strategic discussions, a consulting job. And she's a fresh recruit. That sentence, though she was a fresh recruit, she longed to be in a client facing role. It clearly says fresh recruits are not put in client facing roles. Why? Because clients might think, hey, this is a guy fresh out of college. Is she's telling me how to run my business. Uh, the, 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 the fresh recruit brings with them enthusiasm and IQ. But they probably do not do not yet have strategic insight on industry. So this is probably super relevant. Clients do not take young women seriously during discussion. We are introducing um, uh, I, I don't like any choice that is that is patronizing and discriminatory. It's a, uh, clients do not like inexperienced candidates. Take inexperienced candidates seriously. All right. Experience matters. Knowledge matters. Candidates. Young women. Ageist and gender bias. I don't like those choices. So even if clients make that decision, I don't like to go for the choice here. They're very clear about it. Examiners don't want people to take decisions based on anything that is even borderline discriminatory. This one. Young women. Young at least is alright because young is used as a proxy for lacking experience and domain knowledge and expertise and industry insight and all that. As a proxy for women and call for easy elimination. C and D are out. A, B and D. Uh, teammates are not happy. Nirmal is her boss. He has to take a decision. Yes. Needs to improve her presentation skills properly. Yes. Needs to improve her presentation skills. Not even saying it. she's very poor at that. Maybe client facing role can, can shape her. Shape that. This is probably the one that's most important. She, clients do not appreciate strategic discussion with fresh recruits. That's why fresh recruits are not normally given client facing goals right up front. So, D it is. Due to her constant pleading, Nirmal assigned Himaja a client facing role in his, next, in his project. Nirmal instructed her that he would do all the talking during meetings and she would diligently listen and take notes. The hard taskmaster, he yields and says, okay, sit through the meetings, but don't interfere. Let me run the show. 
However, in the first meeting, Himaja made a comment which contradicted Nirmal. In the next, she interrupted the client while he was making a point. This offended the client, resulting in Nirmal apologizing to the client to save the project. Nice. Which of the following is the most appropriate action that Nirmal should take against Himaja's behavior? Have a chat with Himaja later in the evening. Explain the delicate situation she had put him in during the meeting. And request her not to repeat it. Yep. Sounds very good. It's a, first meeting she did this. The next one she does this. Probably her first day. Uh, she's very early on in these client meetings. She's jumping in. She's over enthusiastic. Uh, says something. And then so pull her aside. Caution her. Request her to keep her peace. Caution Himaja that she would lose client facing roles if she does not appreciate the rationale behind his instructions. Very similar to this, like this also. This is more severe uh, than this. This seems like explain the delicate situation. Uh, caution, uh, have a chat with her, request her to change her behavior. There it is request, here it is caution. And so uh, she would lose. Here it is a plea, here it is a uh, threat. The language dramatically changes from A to B. A is super gentle. B is slightly more kind of in your face. Hey, you shouldn't be doing this. Be careful. A is, I don't know, perhaps if you don't, don't interrupt me. I told you this before. This messes with my relationship. Just be a little careful. That's what A is. B is, look, I've gone out of my way to give you this chance. You're messing it up. Be careful. Otherwise, you can't get this. And so that is the difference between A and B. She so asked Ihmaja's project teammate to have a chat with her on how to behave in client meetings. No, I'm the boss. I'm laying down the rules. I'm taking her with, into client meetings. I'm making an exception. She's going to be with me. No point shirking my responsibility and asking somebody else to do this. Himaja's not going to do that. Recommend Himaja, Himaja for a five-day listening skills workshop. I don't think it's as much a listening issue that as an over-enthusiastic uh, 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 eagerness to pull the trigger issue. Yeah, but it, it could help as a skill set point. But uh, but the but the proximate cause, the, what has happened, calls for a more immediate response. Not uh, okay. Why don't you learn this? And this seems very passive. Not this. E Avoid the half yearly performance review due in two months and submit a strong report against him. Not in two months. She's messed up one meeting. She's messed up the second one. In the second one, the client is offended. And I'm having to apologize in order to save the project. So it is not a, it's not something that can wait two months. It's not something that for which I said a worked into a workshop. It requires a direct action. And so it is between A and B very clearly. A is a gentle version, B is the harsh version. So very often I've been guilty of going for A and I should have gone for B as a, as a boss. That probably clearly tells you that B is the right answer. And so caution her and tell her this. One Nirmal has gone out of his way. It's not, she's not entitled to this because she's badgered and he's given it. Two, he's laid down the ground rules super clearly. He said no talking. Three, she's violated that meeting right in the rules, right in the first meeting. He made a comment that directly contradicts. And the second one, she interrupts the client, which is a cardinal sin. And she's put him off as well. And Nirmal had to apologize. So, one, you've gone out of the way. Two, she's set a set of rules and been defied straight away. Day one, meeting one. That could have been a warning and then second meeting gets worse. So it's not a simple offense. It's not a slight mistake. It's not a small oversight. It's a blunder. It completely calls for a caution rather than a plea. It doesn't, you don't request her to be careful about it. You say, look, don't do this. Be warned. And so, not be rude, nasty about it. But the, the, the line, I think, has crossed a gentle tap on the shoulder saying, hey, better be careful next time. Perhaps it'll be good. It goes to, you can't be doing this. So it is B, not A. Another month passed and Himaja was working under Shreya in a different team. Shreya was impressed by Himaja's enthusiasm and sincerity. She asked Himaja to accompany her to a meeting with a new client. During the meeting, Himaja made a statement that offended the client. She's making a habit of this. Shreya tried to defuse the situation by asking Himaja to apologize. Though Himaja apologized, she defended her statement. This infuriated the client further, who categorically told that the statement of Himaja was against his organization's core values. He specifically told Shreya that unless concrete steps were taken against Himaja, he would not get into any business with him. 
image has crossed her limit limit again she's again offended the client so if you're in a client facing role you're in a consulting role you have no business going about offending clients and then when you're asked to apologize you're finding a backhanded apology i'm really sorry if i have offended you this truth be told what i said was not wrong you're young you're a fresh recruit you're being put there it's you're being shown the ropes and then you say something that offends the client then your boss says hey apologies that was uncalled for hey yeah, yeah i see your point i see what you guys are talking about sorry about that but doesn't mean what i'm saying actually speaking i sorry that i offended you but when i said this point i was not far from the truth you need to be careful about that it's uncalled for it is the, the, the outline here tells us more or less that kimaj has in the wrong relationship points she's very likely to have been drawn intellectually rationally also we don't have enough evidence for that on courtesy and relationship grounds she's 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 completely in the wrong on the intellectual rational grounds she may or may not be completely wrong and so that that's where we are coming from which of the following is the most appropriate action that shreya should take in the interest of all parties she should castigate him by using strong words in front of the client and later in the evening share how much shreya allowed him to come no 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 none of these two face solutions molly cordle here and then have a go there have a go here and then be friends on the down low none of that none of that that's not the right approach and that's not something that you would be recommending easy to eliminate i can't be offended and shout at the person here then later on say and that can't work that is not sustainable that's not done should advise himaja to look for a role outside the consulting industry since her competencies are not appreciated by clients i don't think it's whether it's as much as a not appreciated thing as much as she's not bringing the right game to a meeting you cannot go and offend a, a customer who's giving you a big, some chunk of business asking you to consult for even solve solution you cannot go about offending them and then further insulting them this infuriated the client for them you've been told by your boss hey apologize and then you still don't play ball you're choosing to be a difficult character and so it's not so much that her skills are not appreciated by the industry as much as she doesn't have them. she didn't bring the right set of skills to the meeting and so now we don't know whether she has other skills and so, so i'm not so sure this is right this is very charitable should defend him aja knowing fully well that probably shreya will lose the client no i don't think this behavior is super defensive and if your intellectual argument is fine but the client is offended and your boss is saying hey apology this was uncalled for you apologize and then if the intellectual argument has to be taken offline with the boss and say hey this is what i thought i don't know why you asked me to apologize i actually thought i was right and then the boss says hey perhaps you are right but that's not the situation to get in or says that no this was wrong one the idea was wrong further the way you said it was wrong it's uncalled for it's unnecessary we don't need to make that argument ever and definitely not in that room with that person so what you did was wrong the boss can correct but in the moment going and infuriating the client further no no not happening so i don't think himaja's behavior is uh, defense worthy by shreya should assure the client that himaja will be transferred and send himaja to a two week vacation to rejuvenate should assure the client that himaja will be transferred that is nice because the client is more or less saying concrete steps should be taken and otherwise i'm not doing any business but then send himaja for a two week vacation so i think that's like rewarding himaja for bad behavior it's not concrete action so i'm not that happy with to say that should move himaja to a non client facing role in the current project and explore client facing roles in other projects straight away say you are pinched if you want another project somewhere look for it but you're benched this vacation business seems like it's rewarding it doesn't look like it's concrete so the client says uh, he doesn't want himaja to be in that project more or less clearly so just giving her on vacation and asking her to come back that doesn't work the vacation seems to be like uh, being super charitable to himaja and saying look take a break recharge your batteries so i, I think my reading of this is more or less with a relationship error by him and yeah, i don't think a reason to be super charitable and 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 standing in this context she needs to be told hey you should not attend this be careful about this and bench any on this project let's see let's see where it takes us later on so i would go with e not a b c d